In the annals of aviation history, the story of the Tupolev Tu-144 is both tragic and enlightening. Designed as a Soviet response to the Anglo-French Concorde, the Tu-144 was meant to be a symbol of Soviet technological prowess. However, its public unveiling turned into a catastrophe at the 1973 Paris Air Show, forever altering its legacy. Intelligence Studio. Do subscribe and like the video. The Tu-144, developed by the renowned Tupolev Design Bureau, was prepared for its maiden flight on December 20th. However, unfavorable weather conditions kept the aircraft grounded. Remarkably, a brief window of clear weather appeared, allowing the maiden flight to proceed, only to be followed by the harsh reality of inherent design flaws. As the aircraft soared through the sky, it became evident that the Tu-144 was a complex assembly of engineering challenges, compared aptly to a matryoshka doll, each layer revealing a new problem. These issues stemmed from an aggressive development timeline that left lingering deficiencies in the 16 copies eventually produced. The 1973 Paris Air Show was meant to be the grand debut of the Tu-144, offering its first demonstration on the global stage alongside its rival, the Concorde. During the demonstration, the Tu-144 performed a series of manoeuvres, but as it descended toward the runway, an unexpected turn of events unfolded. Instead of landing, the aircraft executed a sharp, full afterburner ascent. The crew retracted the landing gear and forward canards, levelling off briefly at 3,900 feet before entering a steep dive and roll. At this critical juncture, the left wing snapped off, leading to the disintegration of the aircraft. The wreckage fell into the small French town of Goussainville, resulting in the tragic loss of eight lives, including three children and the destruction of several buildings. As the investigation commenced, the joint French and Soviet inquiry explored various potential causes for the crash. The presence of a French Air Force Mirage III fighter jet in the vicinity of the Tu-144 raised suspicions. While the French maintained that the jet was capturing panoramic images of the exhibition, the Soviets argued that it was conducting close reconnaissance of the Tu-144. The Tupolev flight crew was unaware of the Mirage's presence, leading to speculation that its sudden appearance during a high-angle climb-out startled the crew into evasive manoeuvres. The crash had profound implications for the Soviet Union's standing on the global stage. Aviation analyst Richard Abulafia noted that Soviet-era airliners struggled to find success outside the Soviet bloc due to inefficiencies, and the Tu-144 crash sealed their fate. Any interest any airline may have had outside the Soviet bloc was gone, he remarked. Despite this, interest in the Concorde was also limited, as supersonic travel faced numerous challenges. Comparing this incident with other historical aviation tragedies, such as the Hindenburg disaster or the Space Shuttle Challenger explosion, underscores the inherent risks and complexities involved in pioneering new technologies. In each case, the ambitious pursuit of innovation was met with unforeseen consequences, leading to significant loss of life and prompting rigorous investigations to prevent future occurrences. The Tu-144 crash also serves as a reminder of the delicate balance between ambition and safety. As Benjamin Franklin wisely stated, by failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. This quote highlights the importance of thorough preparation and meticulous engineering in the development of new technologies, a lesson learned through the tragic events at the Paris Air Show. In terms of statistics, the crash occurred in front of an estimated 250,000 spectators, marking a highly publicized aviation disaster. The official investigation, conducted by the French military's DTCE with Soviet collaboration, did not conclusively determine the cause although it suggested a hypothesis involving the Mirage jet and potential control surface deflections. Related experiments and advancements in aviation safety have since emerged from such incidents. 
The Concorde, despite its own challenges, continued to operate until 2003, serving as a testament to the potential of supersonic travel. However, the lessons learned from both the Tu-144 and the Concorde have influenced modern aviation safety protocols and the cautious approach to developing new aircraft. In reflecting on the Tu-144's tragic fate, we are reminded of the words of aviation pioneer Amelia Earhart. The most effective way to do it is to do it. While the Tu-144's development was fraught with challenges, it also represented a bold endeavour to push the boundaries of what was possible. Its story is a testament to both the potential and the perils of human innovation. And do subscribe to the channel.